Why is this electric baseboard heater not heating like it should? First thing you need to do, of course, is to clean it. It'll be more efficient if you do, but you need to look at the label. It says 240 volts. So this is a 240 volt baseboard heater, electric baseboard heater. Now you need to check the voltage that's coming in. Now you see the wire from the back, it's two wires coming in, plus the, the ground. If this was a 240 volt system circuit, each of those wires should be 120 a piece. So I'm getting my voltmeter, I have the, the ground connected to the frame of the radiator. Now I'm checking each one of these leads, each one legs, each one of these legs should be 120. So let's read it. 120. Now this one, if it's a 240 volt circuit, this should also be 120. It's 0.2. So which tells me this is the neutral. Hot, neutral, which is 120 circuit. If it was 120 and 120, there'll be a 240. So this is telling me the power is 120. You can also check it by putting the leads on both wires you got 120 it should be 240 if it was a 240 system so another way to check it you got to look at your breakers the breakers should be a two pole breaker supplying two individual 120 volt lines i checked it it's only a 20 amp single pole breaker which verifies that I only have 120 volts coming to this radiator, but it's rated for 240. So the way to solve this problem, you need to replace this radiator with 120 volt electric baseboard heater. Another thing you need to check is make sure that your thermostats are also rated for the 120 instead of the 240. Thanks for watching.